ask you, though, about children because they cannot be vaccinated under the age of five. Uh, what can parents do to make sure that they stay safe, whether they're at home or at daycare? Because we, we have seen that they are able to transmit the virus uh, and that uh, we are still not sure, uh, from my understanding, from the experts we've been speaking to, uh, whether or not somebody might have a more severe case of Omicron. So nowhere in the world, including Canada, um, are this is the one of the good news stories of the, of the um, COVID is that children themselves are very unlikely to have severe disease. And interestingly, they're actually less likely to transmit it. And there's a lot of hypotheses for that. Not that it will never happen. And so honestly, the, the advice is the advice that we were given all along. If a person is unwell, they have symptoms, that person should stay home. And that person should stay away from small children. If a person is a high-risk adult, and by high-risk, I mean a high-risk of severe disease. Uh, and that, again, is our vulnerable seniors, people with the significant and well-known comorbidities abilities that person maybe wants to take more precautions of where they go out and about but again it's that balance of how do we um, ameliorate the risk of COVID to our high risk uh, population um, with actually everything else that we need to get on with and do as a society because it's not COVID versus nothing it's COVID versus health and well-being and every other aspect of, of our physical health, our mental health, our social health. And that's the balance I think we're all trying to struggle to, to find at the moment. And I, you know, for kids, we can't keep isolating children. That's just profoundly harmful for our kids.